HBO Homicide on TV One. It's the latest crime show shot in documentary style. Let's take a look. It's a woman. It looks like she's been beaten. She's in and out of consciousness. Visible injuries, severe injuries to her face and her head. Lady putting out the trash actually found her. Dial 911 to get this sister some medical attention. She's like the first part of our clock. Mm. Please welcome Angelo Diaz. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Angelo. Hey. Hi. 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 We're going to keep it professional <laughs> today. How are you? How Look you at doing? this body. A little bit. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. This is your spot right thank here. You, Welcome to you, the thank show. You, Thanks thank for, for being me. here. Angelo, you're looking, I say you're looking like a bomb. Yes. Okay. Yes. I say I you're sharp. In the words of Martin that. Lawrence. Yes. Y'all slam, but y'all always do that. Well, well thank you. you. Well, we do a little song. Little song. Little song. <laughs> now, you are a, a veteran, a military veteran, mm -hmm. ex-military veteran, so thank you for your service. Absolutely. I okay. Now, do you pull from your military mindset to prepare for this role? I definitely did. I definitely did. Um, just being in a position in the Navy, I was what you would call a combat medic. Mm -hmm. We call them corpsmen. Mm -hmm. uh, I work mainly with Marines, Navy SEALs. I was on a ship one time, mm -hmm. and I took a nap. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a long, was boring. A long okay. day of exercises. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I just got into a mindset of learning how to, how to care mm -hmm. and how to lead Ooh, yes. um, mm -hmm. a bunch of folks and how to put yourself on the line. Yeah, like yeah. 150%. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, give us some background. You mm -hmm. grew up in Little Haiti, Little Haiti, Miami Beach. Yes. What yes. was your upbringing like, and how does it help you in your life and in your career? Um, I moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty unstable, like, early childhood very transient um, and in Miami if you move around a lot if you move from Little Haiti or to Little Havana to Carroll City that's like three different worlds mm -hmm. you could be a mile and a half from each other but that's three different worlds yeah mm -hmm. so that's pretty much what brought me to acting was um, just always having to switch switch scenery like that yeah mm -hmm. and some of these places weren't places that's like friendly mm -hmm. to new right. people you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. it wasn't just a matter of adjusting to this place it's I need to be the alpha yeah. in this mm -hmm. place yeah yeah and it's not so much let me pretend to be something I'm not let me just see what part of me I need to tap in mm -hmm. to put everybody here at ease yeah, yeah yeah you know you talked about moving around a lot and uh and you grew up around you saw a lot um mm -hmm. domestic violence and so you're really, really uh, at the forefront of movement anti-domestic violence. Of course, we just talked to uh, J Judge Lynn Tolu, who talked a lot about that. Tell us about that experience and how you can play a role in breaking the cycle in your family. Um, I definitely want to just be able to, to bring more light to that epidemic, especially with this episode that's mm -hmm. coming on tonight. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a crazy situation. It was actually mm. surreal working that episode and working that case and uh, speaking to the de Detective Quinn and just what they did to that young lady, mm -hmm. just to leave her out there in the cold like that. Wow. Um, it's truly an epidemic, and watching my mom go through it, yeah. knowing how strong this woman was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a Black Panther, mm -hmm. um, mm. just a fighter, just a very strong woman. So to see her brought down is that type of situation where her own son was questioning her and questioning us and our strength. Um, I just want to prevent as many boys and girls from going through that as yeah, possible. Yeah. Now, you are uh, bilingual. Yes. Mm -hmm. Afro-Cuban. Yes. Okay. yes. Now, how, is, how well is that received in Hollywood? Do you feel that um, you, you deal with different disparities because of your nationality or no? The Rock actually, uh, The Rock had a recent quote in an article he just did. Mm -hmm. um, he was saying back when they had him doing Tooth Fairy and all these different things, kind of taking him towards the Disney route. And he wanted to go back to his pro wrestler background mm -hmm. and embrace that. Mm -hmm. And he just spit some knowledge to the effect of, yo, I had to, instead of trying to conform to Hollywood, I had to have Hollywood conform to me yes. and embrace my past. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to bringing more light to the Afro Latino narrative. Yes. Because we out here. Yes. yes. Out here. Love we, it, love it, love it, love and it. We, and we thrive. And so I just want to bring yep. some light to that. And yes. things like Amara La Negra, the type of things uh -huh. she's doing. She's been on our like, show, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. She's very lit. I love her. Um, so I, I think that's a very, very worthy cause. It's not just people are so excited about it. Get approached about a lot of things, a lot of exciting things I'm up for, but to me, I don't want to bring it back to the root, and yeah. that's why I got into this. As an mm -hmm. yeah. I'm all about the people see diversity, and and when they look at me, and I'm I'm blessed and thankful and mm -hmm. grateful for that. But I, I always, when I'm creating my own content. I go back to the square root of why I got into this yeah, thing. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, we, but before we let you go, you know, okay. we had the real life detectives on here yes. uh, from your show, ATO Homicide, but it's a documentary style. Mm -hmm. Talk about the difference between that and, and, and how you infuse the reenactment in it as mm -hmm. well. It's what very, type of skill set 
that it takes for that. Right. Yeah. It's very different. TV One definitely wanted to flip the script on this. They did. Mm -hmm. And the um, Fatal Attraction, Homicide Hunter, this type of genre is very, very popular. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to flip the script on it and bring a totally different look, totally yeah. different mindset. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So it's, um, it was a lot of work. The recreation, we approached it with a lot of like real, we wanted to be real and grounded. Mm -hmm. We had to study these guys. And you met Quinn, y'all got to, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he's awesome. a lot. He's yeah. very vibrant, yeah. a lot of personality. I tell him all the time, he's Cuban. <laughs> right. He's Cuban. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Well, so awesome. that was fun. Yeah, good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank Continue you for success me. on everything. Absolutely. Well, you're looking good while you're doing it. They <laughs> say you're looking like the money. That counts for anything. <laughs> Make sure you check out ATL Homicide. It airs on TV One on Mondays at 10 p.m. So you can catch it tonight. Up next.